A former high-ranking Chicago police officer is set to serve as the Chicago Police Department's interim superintendent when Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson takes office. WGN's Courtney Spinelli live in the newsroom with Fred Waller's goals as the temporary top cop. Courtney? Well, for the third time in three months, the city will see a different person leading the Chicago Police Department. Today, Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson announcing effective May 15th, former CPD Chief of Patrol Fred Waller will step in as interim superintendent. He has the experience and integrity to lead the Chicago Police Department during this pivotal time. Before retiring as Chief of Patrol in 2020, Fred Waller served on the Chicago Police Department for 34 years, climbing the ranks from patrol officer to third in command. This is a crucial moment for our city. If there's one thing that could bring, out, bring me out of retirement, it was this opportunity to leave and return to the place that I've given so much of my life to. Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson saying it was a priority to find someone who understands the dynamics of the community. Someone respected by both the rank and file officers and the residents that they serve. When he retired and moved into private security, Waller was well respected within the department, but late in his career received a 28 day suspension for using the word rape during a meeting while talking about a shift in patrol, leaving fewer officers to patrol in certain areas. He readily admits he used poor judgment. It was the wrong uh, choice of words. It was uh, an attempt to uh, emphasize how much uh, uh, resources were being taken from uh, patrol. Waller says his words were phrased inappropriately, but taken out of context and shares he gave up his vacation that year in lieu of taking time off work. As he prepares to step into the seat as Chicago's top cop, Waller says his main priority is to boost morale and support for the rank and file officers while building relationships between CPD and the communities it serves. My mission along with Mayor-elect Johnson is public safety. Johnson and Waller fielding questions on several topics, including plans to keep the city from seeing another weekend like the one in April where chaos unfolded downtown. We've done some collaborative things in the past with some street intervention uh, teams, and I see that some of the pastors and dads are getting involved, and it has to be a collaborative effort. Retired Chicago Police Lieutenant John Garrido, who has been an outspoken critic at times of CPD, saying he believes a major challenge facing officers has been changing policies from top leadership on how responses to major events are handled. We're going to have these issues coming up uh, going into the summer on these weekends, and uh, how the person at the top handles that is extremely important. During Wednesday's news conference, Waller saying he isn't planning to apply for the permanent position. I think every step of the way, even the interim, makes a difference. This is going to be a difficult job. Whoever steps in and takes it over. The Community Commission for Public Safety and Accountability is the agency charged with submitting three finalists for the permanent superintendent position. It has until mid-July to announce the finalists. In the newsroom, Courtney Spinelli, back to you. Thank you, Courtney.